My name is Alexa Blumenstock. I'm from Long Island, New York. I am a founder and president of a secular student alliance at my college, and I am openly secular. I was raised Reformed Jewish, and like many Reform or ex-Reformed Jews I know, uh, I slowly started to question things more and more because we, I was encouraged to question things and there was never a threat of any hellfire or damnation. So progressively I just thought, eh, this doesn't really make sense. And then I went to the Reason Rally and I realized, oh my God, there are people who have beliefs like me and I just dove in and like dived in. <laughs> and I, <laughs> I've been passionate about being openly secular ever since. I remember when I told one of my best friends in high school that I was an atheist, she said, I'm so sorry. And I said, why? She said, because you're going to hell. <laughs> and she meant that so genuinely and she was really concerned and I, I didn't know what to say. I just said, okay. I, I, I had no idea. I didn't know she would say that. I, I just, I, I figured because religion really never came up with any of my friends and really my family either. It was kind of a given, you know, everyone believes in God. Like, you know, it's really weird not to. Even my sister was the first atheist or the first person to come out as atheist in our family. And me and my parents were like, you know, what? That's crazy. But then when I came out to my parents when I was uh, 17, they're like, you better not forget your Jewish roots, like the history and the culture. And I'm like, okay, but you know, that has nothing to do with my beliefs. So I realized that they were pretty accepting and now they're much more accepting and they told me I've actually opened their eyes and yeah same with my friends they said they're thankful that I've educated them about these things we're not insane I first of all I want them to know that we don't believe in nothing because we get that a lot and um, as if somehow our world doesn't exist because there's no God to create and control it but um, I'd want to let them know that we're people and we're also everywhere. Um, just like with any identity that isn't obvious from, you know, looking at someone. We're everywhere and we're, like a lot of us are great people and a lot of us are jerks, but that goes with any other demographic. Um, and we don't want to take away anyone's beliefs or privileges or anything like that or rights. We just want to be treated as equals and we want to be respected despite our disagreements with non-secularists. If we're not vocal, then we might as well be invisible, um, both to our family, friends, colleagues, and the, um, I guess, political realm, Congress. You know, if they don't know we exist, then to them we won't exist and we won't be recognized. And if we're discriminated against, they, they won't really know what to do with us because it's like, what, those atheists, they... And then, you know, then also if we're not open, people will make assumptions because they don't know anyone who is open, so they'll just go off of what they hear about people who are openly secular. And, you know, they, they'll just discriminate and they'll, you know, eventually laws will be passed, you know, to try to silence us and it's, we have to be open or else we might as well, you know, be invisible, not exist. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.